Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to unbox this Revit car. So this car is the HBX16889 or uh, you can buy it under the FTX brand. It costs you around 90 bucks or something and yeah, it's four wheel drive. It tells you it's ready to run. Uh, it's got qualified shocks. Mm, with adjustable rings, ball bearings, it's got a brushed motor uh, Oh, you can buy optional metal spur diff gears and it tells you it's splash slash waterproof So let's unpack this car and find out what it really is So let's see what's inside the box. So inside the box you will find your instructions manual, you've got some spare body clips, you've got your USB charger, you've got some cable ties, not sure why they're in there but yeah. It uh, comes in a box. You've got your remote control. You need to supply your own uh, AA batteries. It uh, takes two of them and yeah, it's it's got a good feel to it. It's plastic, but it's okay. So the steering wheel is fine. Throttle, yeah, it's okay. You've got an auxiliary button right over there. Not sure what it's supposed to do, but we will find out in a bit. Uh, the on off switch, steering reverse button and steering trim and the speed switch. So the car, I think the car looks really nice. I like the orange details on it and all the striping and everything. Yeah, the, yeah, I like the car. The big chunky wheels, they're vented. So if you're driving in sand or water, you should uh, yeah, uh, uh, cover the hole. And the springs, yeah, it's very bouncy. And it really slams to the ground, so we need to do some adjustments to the shocks. So underneath here, it's got an all plastic chassis, but that's fine for this car. And all plastic arms and things, but they feel nice. They feel very sturdy. The chassis itself feels pretty sturdy, so yeah, I really like that. And, and yeah, you've got your big bumper over here. You've got a bumper in the front, which actually holds some LEDs. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good addition. So let's remove the body. So underneath the body, you've got your motor. I think it's a 360 or 390 motor. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, for the for the car, uh, it's I think it's got uh, plenty uh, plenty of power. It's got a heatsink. This is your two-in-one receiver ESC combination. You've got a five wire server and it actually comes with a server saver. So you will find a tiny battery here. This is an 800 milliamp battery and you've got a very big chunky metal drive shots going from the gearbox all the way to the front. Do you see it? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So if we look at the front of the car, you've got plastic cups, you've got plastic uh, CVDs. At the rear you've got plastic dark bones and also plastic cups, so yeah, that's okay. Oh, it feels like it's got ball bearings and that's pretty nice. So if we, yeah, I think I can see a ball bearing, so that's a, that's a nice feature. And yeah, let's put the battery in, uh, in the car and see what it does. So I put some batteries in the remote control, so on the side here you will have your on off button. Just press it and it should bind and here it is. So the steering angle, yeah, that looks uh, looks okay. And it's got decent speed to it, the power. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best, but it's okay. Throttle, yeah, definitely got bearings throughout. You can see how smooth it goes. And it stopped working. So guys, apologize, the battery that was in there was dead, so it's on charge right now. So I just throw in this little LiPo battery. Uh, in order to do so, you have to remove this little foam piece. And I just made a small uh, uh, connection from GST to the Deans or the T-plug. So let's turn the car on and see what the wheel speed is. 
it's not the most powerful, not the most torquey, but yeah, the wheel speed seems okay. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, so let's take the car outside and see what it can do. So guys, let's see how fast this little car can go. I found a, p a piece of tarmac, so uh, yeah, the number should be uh, at its maximum. I put in a fresh battery and uh, yeah, we are going to see how fast it goes. Let's go. So, let's see how fast this car went. So, it went 29 kilometers an hour. Well, for this little car, I think uh, that's pretty fast. Now it's time to hit some dirt. So guys, the HBX16889, I really like this car, it's got a good uh, look to it, uh, yeah, it's got good tires on it, it's pretty decent, it's pretty solid, uh, the speed is uh, is okay for this little, uh, little car, uh, one thing to pay attention to is the heat of the motor, when you want to run a couple of batteries, uh, yeah, I think you would burn it, but if you just run it uh, uh, for 50 minutes or something, I think it will hold up, but just uh, keep an eye on the heat of the motor. Uh, another thing that I probably should change is uh, is the, the the shocks because they are just spring shocks and it's, sometimes it's a bit bouncy. But besides that, uh, yeah, it uh, it uh, it's a pretty nice car. All right, guys, that was it for today. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions. Please leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.